questions to this. Will there be any passive normalizing, standardizing the way the functions in the bundled modules look, including basic, making basic into more coherent stuff? Probably. Okay, here's... People can tell me what they think needs harmonization the most. Um, one thing that I'm very aware of is that some of the functions um, in basic are prefixed with what they do. So for exa example, dude, I'm fat fingering everything. If I go into array here, right? These are all prefixed by array underscore whatever. And that's in part because when we started the programming language, we didn't have function overloading or anything. It was very early, right? And it's just like, look, we need to do some array stuff to have a program. And then since then, because this is widely used, we haven't really changed it, right? But this kind of goes counter to one of the ideas of the language, which is that if you give people really good importing and namespacing tools, that you don't need all this prefixing, right? And they can do whatever they want. And if they need to resolve a name conflict, they can do that on the import, for example, right? And that all that functionality is in. It works. I don't actually use it very often, in part because a lot of this stuff is prefixed. But I also, there's this interesting thing where it's like, I don't necessarily want to give myself problems that I need to solve that way um, by making these names more generic. Um, okay, and then there's one other thing. Well, okay, so some of these function names are a little imprecise. This is called add. It really should be append, right? Add is, I think, a little... I don't want to have a bunch of overloads for the word add. Append is probably better, right? But here's the thing. Okay, so, so, and part of what this question is asking is probably this, because other modules, if you go into them, um, don't have this kind of prefixed uh, way of naming their things. And in part, that's because in some modules, names are naturally much less ambiguous, right? Um, like, like the, in the, you know, the sound player module or something, you've got, you know, free stream entity pass. Like that's just not a very generic name. So we don't feel the need to prefix it. Um, okay. Now, so which way do you harmonize it? I would prefer to harmonize away from prefixes because that was part of, again, the whole point of all these features is you don't have to do this, right? But it is, the reason we haven't done it is there's just a question in my mind about whether whether consistency is better or just whether sometimes you want to prefix and sometimes you don't because some names are more helped by prefixes. Now, all of this um, sort of hammers on another one of the core decisions of the language, right? And this is maybe where there's room for some creativity. We'll see, right? Um, and that is, you know, we decided not to be object oriented and all this stuff. And that makes us a lot simpler <laughs> in that part of the language. Um, the part that involves calling functions and types of functions and stuff. And, you know, we obviously we spend that complexity budget elsewhere in places like metaprogramming and whatever, right? So that's been a very useful thing to do. However, it does mean, you know, there are some cases where we have large numbers of overloads of functions. Like if you say init on something and you, uh, you get the call wrong, you know, you get an overload resolution message. And, you know, I probably in the game that I'm working on you probably could get at least 50 matches for that, right? That you want to figure out. And nobody like reads through all those matches when there's that many. It sort of raises the question of if that's a useful thing to do, but you sort of do. You do want to report all the locations, I guess. We probably should sort them better, like alphabetically by file or something. Um, but so 
the more the, the reason I bring that up is that, for example, the more you go into your core modules and you make the names things that could be more ambiguous, the more pressure you put on that point. And like right now, it's I don't find it to be very bad. Like once in a while, I do something where I get a long overload resolution message, but that's pretty uncommon. Um, but you would be making that more common. And then that raises the question, well, maybe that means we shouldn't make the names more general. Maybe it means we should do something better for overload resolution. Maybe it means we should do something else for namespacing, right? Because there are a couple other things people, like there's the standard thing about like, why can't the hash table see my comparison operator or whatever? Um, because we have this large amount of hygiene, right? Um, and the reason for that is we don't want to stumble into some of these problems that other languages have where the behavior of your program might change as you add code. Now that said, I mean, there's just trade-offs, right? There's, there's trade-offs to all this stuff. One thing we could do, you know, we could add some namespace that lives somewhere that everybody can see, and then you explicitly put things in that namespace. Um, That solves the hash table question. Um, it doesn't solve this. So I, like there's just related questions. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's what I'm thinking about that. I mean, we could have a, a conversation specifically about that at some point, I think. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. But I do, I mean, I do think that it's worth Certainly, it's worth doing a pass over everything uh, to make it easy to think about, right? <clears throat> the question is just, what is the target for that, right? Both in terms of naming, in terms of parameters, um, parameter naming styles is maybe less, um, is maybe already more consistent, I would say, but Sometimes, you know, there's questions about that. So, um, but for, so for sure that will happen to some degree. The question is just what is the target? It needs to get figured out. 